presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 266, NASDAQ up 131, S&P's up 32, gold contract down $42, trading 1789. We get silver down 48 cents, 26 dollars 40 cents an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 57 cents, 56 dollars, 27 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year right now, folks, it's flat. 136.25. What's so cool about this is that it's 136.26, folks. That keeps you in the higher range. We're coming up to the highs, testing the highs inside the major indices. My take is that what you're going to see out here is that we're, first off, you're going to get the test in the indices. And we want to watch those bonds because the bottom line, those bonds start moving higher again, lower in price, particularly the 10-year. That is saying that, guess what? You're going to be pulling back next week. King dollar. King dollar's got traction underneath it. Up 358. You're at 91,529. Uh, 92 to 92.200 to 500 is gain. Uh, that, 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 folks, is a normal retracement. The dollar hasn't been able to do a normal retracement for about eight months, but the bottom line, it's on the road right now to doing that. And it, my take is we are, that's a counter trend bounce. The euro is at 119, the yen is at 105.53, and the British pound's at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, we're going up to these highs, folks. You do have the contraction of volume. The bottom line is that we're going to see whether uh, you get a rejection of price. Uh, right now, the SPY going after its high. The high out there in the SPY is at the 385. Uh, 80, uh, we got, I mean, yeah, we get the 385.46 thus far, and we are going to have another contraction, which is pretty wild, man. It's pretty hard, folks, to go up four days in a row and have a contraction each and every day. And we do have harmony in that marketplace now. That's exactly what we have done inside the SPY as well as the NDX100, the three Qs. Now, that being said, uh, it's still, I would say that the SPY would be a better vehicle uh, if you are going to basically go short if, in fact, we get a failure on price and volume. The reason I'm saying that is that they've been moving equities out inside of the SPY and inside of the S&P, uh, right going all the way back to January 4th. That's kind of your first downdraft. There's been four of them since then. Markets snap back every single time. If we take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see with the Qs out here, the Qs right now are trading 329.20 and 329.32. Look at this. So, so, hey, we got the test out here today, man. Now, this is, this is, this is going to be interesting. Is it three? Yeah, 329.32 with 
11. We hit 43. So this is a, this is a test out here today. Um, pretty cool. We'll see how this shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here. They slam gold down here again. That's what the cost of the dollar going higher. Uh, we, we got down to a price point of 1784. Um, we're at 1794 right now. The last low that was out here is at uh, 1771. What's intriguing about this, though, is this. If we go to the XAU and the HUI, and this is exactly what happened in the last bottom that we're at also. Um, what had happened is that the equities themselves weren't going testing all those lows. Uh, and you can see it with the XAU. Right now, you get uh, basically three higher lows inside of the XAU. If you take a look at some of the stocks that have been weak, the bottom line is that they have rejected lower price out here today. You get Barrick. Barrick was down at 2140. Uh, 48, you're at 21.95. That's rejecting lower price. We go take a look at uh, Newmont out here. Newmont got down to a 56.60. That's at 57.62. Uh, bottom line, we'll see where it ends up shaking out. But you do have the equities that are rejecting lower price. Now, good old King Dollar. Uh, King Dollar wants to make that run up into this uh, 92. Let's say 92, it's 92.200 to 92.500. That, that's, that's ice. That's where we broke down, and we'll see uh, if it can basically get further than that. Uh, my, my suspicion is that it's not going to. Uh, if we go take a look at the euro, of course, you're going to see the euro going just the opposite way. Euro right now is trading at 119.66. And the euro is coming right back to where it broke topside from. Uh, that number there is uh, 119.22. Right now, you're at 119.66. Let's go to uh, Bob in South Carolina. Hey, Bob, what's going on? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doesn't get any better than this. I I'm, sh I'm sure you're, you're much happier being right there, I heard it was like about uh, zero degrees in Boston the last few days. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, when I moved down from that area, uh, they just got uh, 25 inches on the street I lived on. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and there's more coming. <laughs> that's right. Uh, okay. It's a gift that keeps on giving, you know. <laughs> I, that, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Then where do we put it all, right? Yeah, I know. Well, spring's coming. It's only six weeks away. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so let's take a look. AVXL, huh? Yes. Okay, so the I low this, is 220. Like the high is 2870. Now, do you own this? Yes, I bought it at six. I, I want to get out. I, I, I lost it this morning. It spiked up to 28. Um, I know. I, I, I was busy and. It, I, I let opportunity slip through my hands. Okay. So I would just get out. That's all you can do, man. You know, yeah, when, you, when you have these powerhouses, man, um, you know, and it, it, just stay right there. Because there's a, there's a few of these biotechs today, folks. What they did is that they opened much higher. They were actually higher pre-market. Uh, but they've been selling off all day. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Come back from Bob, uh, from South Carolina. Market-wise, up here we're up at uh, 253 on the Dow, 127 on the Nasdaq, 30 bucks on the S and P's. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. 
The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 244. Nasdaq's up 123. S&Ps are up 30. And we're talking with Bob from South Carolina. And we're talking about uh, AVXL. So, you know, the... This is a tough one. There's no doubt. I mean, I know you're looking at that saying, hey, man, I could have got $28 this morning. But I'd take the six, 1564, man, um, because what you have here, you know, yeah, I'll bring this back and you, I will show you the last time that this happened. And it took months, it might be even years, actually. It was years, actually. Yeah, so... This happened in uh, 2015, the middle of 2015. Stock goes from $3 to 14 gives it up, right? And then at bottom line trades at 3 to $5 for, you know, what, five years? Yeah, um, there's, there's, in other words, there's nothing here. It's just... Well, what it in is, it's in the, one of the targets is telling me, it's in the same space as um, another, you know, this is all about Alzheimer's disease and... Um, the market's excited about it. Like, if you look at SAVA, that had a low of $1.63, a high of $117, which is today, and it's already, it's only, tr it's trading $68. And this was traded at wow. $130 pre market. So this already gave up 100% of its gains. And that just, you know, that, when you do something like that, man, you can come right back to the breakout area. I mean, you know, and if we're going to get a correction just in the broad market, you'll see those equities go back to the breakout area in about a heartbeat, man. So, oh, okay. Could you look at one more for me? Is that possible? Uh, Absolutely. AEO. I'm sorry. What is it? AEO. AEO. Okay. So let's take a look at AEO. You got uh, American Eagle Outfitters. Okay. So the low six dollars, the highs twenty five. You're trading twenty four eighty one. They're going to be coming out with their numbers on the 3rd of March. They're going to be looking to do uh, $1.3 billion and uh, make $0.36. Cents. And they're still alive and kicking. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see what we got here. Mm. So you own this one too, right? Yeah. Um, I want to get out of this one as well, but uh, I don't know if there's anything left in the tank here. Yeah, this one, this one doesn't look bad, man. I mean, you know, last month we pushed up with 133 million. The high has 101 million. Uh, 
See, I know what you're saying. What he's saying here, folks, that this is this hasn't had a retracement, right, since the lows in March. This is pretty amazing, right? <laughs> wow. This is a tough one, man. Because, um, well, here, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. We okay. So we're at 24, and it's only like a buck and a half higher that the highs are at. So it's like, okay, so is it worth a buck and a half? Well, here, let me ask you this. This is the way to look at this. You can do a natural retracement and be at 19, yeah, $19.30. And there'd be nothing oh, okay. wrong with the stock. But, you know, that's five bucks, right? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I just want to get out. I, I've had enough of them. and uh, Yeah, just, then, uh, then sell it today because what you're doing is this. You know, what happened is that we made, we made a low out here with 56 million shares when that's, uh, I mean, 16 million shares when it came down about a week and a half ago, okay? And you can see it's going up in 4 million. And it's coming up, the 4 million is coming up to 13. So there's less buyers. Okay. So when you take both of them, you're going to feel a lot better, man. Yeah, I, I hope so. And, you will. Uh, this you weekend, will. Listen, prediction, Tom. Yeah, all you, you do, you're going to lick your wounds for a couple of days, but you made a big profit. You know, the, the, yeah, so that's, that's, this is this is the way to if you have high flyers, folks. OK, what you want to do is put an outrageous offer in and just keep it in. That's what I do. What I do is this. So let's say, I mean, who knew that that stock there was going to go up to that outrageous amount this morning. Right. But what you can do is that you can always have an offer in just in case you're not in front of the machine and something comes in and say, hey, oh my God, I just walked in. You know what I'm saying? And then when you decide, you can always change that order. But that's the way that you should treat some of these high flyers, man. Well, well thank you. Cook it, brother. Uh, this weekend, Tom, what do you think? Tom, uh, Tampa Bay all the way? Oh, I think so, man. I think they're going to win it. I think it's going to be a great game. Um, you know, you get two great quarterbacks, you get two great teams, but I think Tampa Bay just uh, their defense, and then, then we got Brady, and they, they, Tampa Bay to me just has it really together. I mean, I just love watching them too, and you know, every single time when Brady has, he has, so, he has, he has so many receivers, man. It's like you know. I, it's like heaven on earth, man. I mean, they're trying to get one receiver, they get another. They try to, you know, go one way, they go another. And, and his receivers, folks, can block, they can run, they can, they can do just about anything. These receivers these days are just phenomenal. And so I, I think I think it's going to be a great game, but I think we're going to do it, man. And, of course, Brady is going to make history, so pretty cool. Yeah, see, the mayor wants to change the name to uh, Tom uh, Tom Bay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank you. Talking I appreciate your I, advice. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. All right. 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got, uh, oh, well, hey, we got to go with, you got to go back to GameStop because it's on its way to 20 bucks. We're at 40 bucks right now. Uh, no, here, GME. One second. I, I think we're. We're higher than 40 bucks, I think. We're, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting back into that area. Yeah, we're 56 bucks. So you're down 35 bucks today. Bottom line is that this thing's going on. Uh, we'll, we'll see this. Hey, might see 20 bucks tomorrow. This is like pretty intense, man. And the sad part, of, of course, is that people will be thinking that, you know, you can get some kind of another bounce. But, you know, this is over, man. Uh, that stock's over, you know. Certainly, Robinhood's not over, and, and Reddit's not over, and all of that. But these two equities are over. Um, AMC uh, Entertainment, the CEOs at AMC uh, Entertainment. The thing is pretty wild, actually. Let's go back to GameStop for a second. GameStop, I have no idea why they didn't um, just basically uh, move as fast as uh, AMC did. I mean, GameStop didn't even turn around and... Do a secondary, man. They were out of their minds, man. I'm sure public relations-wise, it would have been a disaster. But guess what? They should have been doing secondaries at two, three, four hundred dollars and pushing that paper out. They, and then they could have changed their business plan. They could have done anything. Uh, 
it will get down uh, in the history books uh, how AMC uh, basically saved itself, because I suspect that they did. You know, AMC was trading, uh, what, two weeks ago, uh, even 10, tra 12, 10 trading days ago. 10 trading days gave it two, two bucks. It got all the way up to $30, uh, $20, and they were pushing out paper. And, of course, the pushing out of paper um, at those prices, folks, is phenomenal, because then the bottom line is that they get the money in the till. If you have cash flow, guess what? You can get through these tough times. Dow Industrials up 260, Nasdaq up 130, S&P's up 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameritrade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com educating investors this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com welcome back folks uh, dow dow industrials right now up at 254 you get the nasdaq up uh, 132 s&ps are up 30 and uh so check this out folks it's gonna be pretty cool watching this shake out you know of course robin hood's taken uh has taken a lot of heat uh but guess what they are downloading new accounts left and right okay robin is not going away uh bottom line p people like their app it's an easy app um and then robin hood let's see what they're going to say okay so robin hood actually bought a super bowl ad in december and it is going to okay so this this is what this is this is going to be cool watching how this shakes out uh it's saying that 
the gist of the ad is going to be, you don't need to become an investor, you were born one. Pretty intense, uh, no doubt. And, you know, what, what does happen, folks, is that um, folks that are on Robin Hood, you know, basically are new traders, uh, the folks that said, okay, I want to get off Robin Hood, I want to go somewhere else, they're going to find out a couple different things. They're going to find out, number one, um, you know, the gamification that Robin Hood has on their app is what people actually like, and it makes it so easy. Um, you know, a lot of the other firms are not as easy as that, number one, but more so when you are transferring an account, folks, uh, the bottom line is that you know, you got to transfer the equities over, you got to transfer the cash over, you need the DTC number. Um, there's a lot of different things in order to transfer accounts. That's why when a broker dealer gets an account, that's why it's so expensive to get an account number one. Keeping the account, they'll do everything in order to keep that account because the bottom line, it takes so much to get it. That being said, it's, it's a huge undertaking in order to transfer accounts. You know, it, it's done. It's done every day. But the bottom line, uh, in the Robinhood era, I suspect what a lot of them don't know is that you can buy um, fractional shares. And you cannot, you cannot transfer it fractional shares. That's the bottom line. So I suspect that uh, they're going to make it through this PR disaster um, and guess what? They're, I mean, we're, we're going to see Robin Hood public uh, pretty quickly. There's no doubt. Because you've got to remember something. That, so we have basically commission-free tra trading, okay? But commission-free trading, bottom line, someone is still making money on it. Now, what has happened is that the platforms are the ones making money, and they're fractions of pennies. But if you want to see the, the aspect as the fraction of pennies, and so the volumes that we have had in, inside the marketplace, folks, have gone up exponentially. And they've been basically going up for a good five or six weeks. Uh, you can see the NYSE, NYSE starts hitting 1.6, 1.8, 1.4. For the NYSE, that's a big number. The composite, okay, is in a whole different area. And of course, most people, I definitely trade those. Look at these numbers. The composite folks went from an aspect of doing approximately, you know, 4, 4.2, 4.4 billion shares a day to 7.2, 7.5. Last week we did 9.8 and we did 11 billion shares in one day. So take that 11 billion, take that 8 billion, multiply it just by one tenth of a penny, and you're going to see the type of money that. Uh, is coming into the marketplace, and you know a lot of that is definitely uh, new traders that are coming in. What I what I did here today, this is this is going to be this is really intriguing. What what I heard today is that the uh, so this was Bloomberg when I was coming in this morning, and they had an analyst on, and they asked him, uh, did he think that the Robin Hood crowd uh, had changed the marketplace at all, and he answered it in the aspect saying, well, no, it's just a whole other crowd that's coming in. They think they can push something around. And I think that, that that analyst is being so naive because what you have, folks, is this. When you have, this is a whole new generation of traders. And I remember when the baby boomers got in. That changed the market tremendously, okay? The bottom line, the market can't stand being changed, number one. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? That started in 1980. That bull started running. Okay, the Dow, I think, was at 800, 803 at that particular point. That started running, got heavier and heavier up to the 90s. The, not, by the 90s, okay, the baby boomers were in full, okay? That, when you have more demand than supply, which, which we're going to see how this shakes out, the bottom line is that it always changes markets, you know, and uh, will, I suspect what, what we're hearing, you know, and this always happens in general and in, in not only in markets, but in life, the, the people that are louder can be a minority, but you're hearing more about them. So some of the stories that we're actually hearing about uh, out here in Robin Hood, uh, basically 
are probably not some of the great stories. I bet there's plenty of people in Robin Hood that actually do and will learn how to analyze uh, an equity or technically uh, come down and do it. Because the bottom line, what, what cracked me up actually about the, the this morning is that they were asking about the aspect of um, does it make a difference with hedge funds and all that? Well, guess what, folks? The, the largest hedge funds out here, whether it's Cohen, whether it's Griffin, whether it's, uh, who's the other guy? These guys were all day traders. They actually, they, these guys were day traders, okay, in the 90s. Now they're basically running all of the, mo the biggest funds out there. They'll be, that's the exact same thing that's going to happen 20 years from now. Because the bottom line is that out of that whole group, Guess what? You're going you're gonna to see uh, folks that uh, basically uh, will take off, and they'll take off in a big way. Um, let's go take a look at some of these questions in the den. Let's see what I got here. Nope. Um, okay, one second. Let's see. Okay, we got a lot of gold questions here. Let's go into that. What is the correlation? Okay, so the correlation uh, here, the correlation in the gold market and the debt market kind of, well, do go like this, folks, okay? The bottom line is that the, uh, let's go look at the 10-year right now. The longer that interest rates stay lower, the more probability that the metals market uh, can stay higher and can go higher. That's just, that's just how it works. Um, today, what we have done once again is that we're back in, inside the larger range. Uh, the 10 year rejected 136.19. You're at 136.25, 136.26. We were when we just started. That's saying, guess what? It wants higher price or uh, lower yield. We go look at the 30 year. We take a look at the 30 year out here. 30 year is, you know, that's quite far away from. Uh, the, the large range. The 30 year needs 171. Right now you're at 167.16. Uh, that correlation is there though. The, so the bottom line, uh, it's more so with the dollar. I can tell you that. The, the dollar is what basically runs the metals market and the yen. The yen uh, is uh, running out at 105. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 268. The Nasdaq's up 131. S&P's are up 32. So we get a lot of numbers coming out after the close out here today, folks. Uh, let's first go to the uh, casinos. Uh, so when... Is going to be coming out with numbers after the close today. Low for the year is 35. The high is 137. Trading at 108 right now. And what you have is that uh, they're looking to really uh, up the little game here. I mean, the, 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 the casinos have got absolutely smoked. There's no doubt. But they're looking that uh, they went from 370, 370 million last quarter, 676. Uh, so it's going to be intriguing uh, if, in fact, they can do that. Uh, Macau is still uh, growing by 17.5%. And you can expect that most of that's going to come in from the Macau uh, setup. You know, that being said, what's still dangerous uh, for a win is that there's a gap that's wide open at 86 bucks. And right now you're trading at one oh, excuse me, at 108. Uh, Peloton, uh, this is the, of course, the, the darling of the workout crew. Uh, this is pretty amazing what this company's done. Uh, low for the year is $17. The high is 171 uh, now, you're paying up for this in a monster way. The P.E., uh, folks, is 358 So you're paying 358 bucks for $1. Uh, that being said, you know, the bottom line is that they are growing by 99.8% over a three-year deal. And then their subscription product is actually going up more. It's going up 123%. Uh, trading up 10 bucks right now. And... Yeah, there's no reason. Oh, it's interesting. Let me put this in a weekly. It almost looks like I can go up and test the highs again. No, you know what? Oh, this is going to be cool to watch. No, okay, so this is a high end consolidation with no volume. That's how this shakes out. I can't wait to see how this one comes out. But that, that's what this is. This is a high end consolidation without volume. So I suspect that should be coming on the way down. Let's go take a look at Macy's for one of the um, tigers out here. The low in Macy's is $4.38. The high is $22.30. You had a nice spike last week. You know, this, this is this is this is basically setting up to get to you know to get up somewhere into the uh, yeah. This is setting up to get into the $30 area. I think, I think Macy's going to make it, man. That's, that's how this is setting up. That's what it looks like. And, yeah, I mean, it's been a one-way slew down for them in an incredible way. There's no doubt about that. 73 bucks, all the way down to $4.73. But it looks like they're going to try to get off this low. You know, you already got a couple spikes. Uh, I suspect you're going to see some more. Let's go take a look at uh, Gilead. Okay, so Gilead, this is uh, one of the largest biotechs uh, out here. You got, uh, yeah, it's a biopharma research. Lows 56, the highs 85. Now they pay a 4% dividend. And yeah, this wants to go take a run up into this uh, 71. This, no, six, that's only 66. Let me. Yeah, you're at 65. It's looking to go to 66. Oh, yeah. 
Looks like it's off its lows. I mean, this was a one-way route on the way down, too, but it looks to me that like you get a couple points in it. Nothing heavy there. A couple points is there. Um, Snapchat. Let's take a look at this one. This is going to be interesting. So the low Snapchat is $7.89. Uh, you, get, you get your high out here laying out at $60, and we're right next to it. We just made that high uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, we did. So this is going to be... This has zero volume up there. Now, this is going to be really intriguing just watching this shake out. So this is telling me that it wants to back down. We haven't had any volume. Now, check this out. When you, when you look at a Snapchat, that hasn't had any volume all the way since 43, and you're at 58. I mean, but that's the type of market that we're in. There's no doubt. And the gaming market, uh, Activision, uh, this one here, uh, sitting right next to its highs, the low is fifty dollars. The high is ninety-five. This is coming out after the close. They're looking to do. Uh, look at this number. Holy cow! So this is their biggest quarter, uh, but no doubt the holiday quarter. Two point eight billion. They're looking to do, folks. So picture this. Every year, this is the quarter that basically is just a monster. Two point eight billion. They're looking to bring a dollar seventeen to the bottom line. Um, they're contracting a bit uh, growth-wise. Uh, in the Americas, they're contracting just by 1% over a three-year period, but uh, that is pretty intriguing, contracting inside of the gaming market, because the gaming market, folks, continues to basically get new, tra new gamers uh, each and every day. The gaming market is just a monster. Uh, if we take a look at this and put this on a monthly, yeah, on a monthly, it looks to me like we, we just broke out. I, th I think we're going to see a failure here. Uh, what was that? 90, 84. We had 92. Uh, 84 is uh, basically game. So there's going to be a lot of action after the close out here today. You got, uh, who well, Click. Uh, oh, GoPro. Uh, Deck. What is, is that Deck? Is that Decker's? Let's see. Yeah, this is Decker's Outdoor. This is a highly volatile stock. The low is 78, the high is 336. This baby here, okay, this, uh, don't buy this one. I can tell you that. This is, you know, you're down on volume, you're up on light volume. I can't wait to see the numbers on this one. Let's see what they're looking for. Because this is, this is the type of equity that does go up and down 10 or $20 in a heartbeat. Uh, this is looking to do uh, $961 million to its top line and seven dollars and eleven cents to its bottom line they're growing by seven percent over a three-year period uh... but technically when we take a look at this setup okay uh... this setup here yeah I, i'd say you you broke you broke top side you didn't have the volume on the break you came downtown you had monster volume on the way downtown you're going back top side and you're basically giving it up on volume so uh, the type of run that this has had, they'd have to uh, basically have so many things right. Uh, and it just, I mean, you, you ran from $76 up to $336. So that, these runs have been incredible. There's no two ways about it. And you can see, you know, when, whether it's, you know, Google, they, they, went, they went topside for, uh, there's no doubt. Uh, in fact, let's, go, let's take a look at that for a second again. Yeah, and it's still hanging up there. See, it's down six bucks. That's that's still hanging up there. Uh, Amazon, Amazon is staying because it's consolidation. You're up ten bucks right now. That consolidation looks like it's in. Microsoft's one of the ones to watch, folks, because we did the numbers on Microsoft yesterday. Microsoft is uh, an ABC structure on the way up. So uh, as we come up and approach these highs, that's going to be pretty wild. In fact, we take a look at the. I suspect the NQs more than likely took out its highs today. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, no, we're right next to it. Um, bottom line is that, no, it hasn't taken it out yet. You're up 122 bucks. It hasn't taken it out yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 262, NASDAQ up 142, S&P's up 33. And uh, as we're coming into these highs, folks, the bottom line each and every day, you have this contraction. And when you see this, you know, we contracted yesterday in the NYSE, uh, and you get a big one today. Right now, you're only at 658 million. We did this yesterday. We're at about 750, and it did a billion. It looks to me like the NYSE is actually going to do under a billion. We haven't done that for quite some time. That being said, the composite, different animal, man. The composite still has volume, man. I mean, the composite wants to get up into this area. So, uh, I suspect we're going to test it. You're going to do another seven billion today uh, inside of the composite. We take a look at the uh, composite. Well, actually, this is going to be it's going to be all time highs, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, I, I believe that. Yeah, we're going to be. You close right here. We're definitely at all time highs. So it's uh, seven thirty six. Yeah, we're at seven fifty eight. That. Uh, Baby is going to be uh, closing at all-time highs. Now, you have the contraction. So now what you need, you need the uh, rejection of price. But as I said, the composite as well as the NDX 100 uh, is no doubt strong. Uh, we take a look at the SPY, the ETF structure. You're going to see that contraction once again. Uh, right now, you're at 36 million. Oh, it's going to be a big contraction today, man. Uh, we did 52 million yesterday. So that might do about 43. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. You did Tuesday. Tuesday, we did 75. Wednesday, you did 64. 
Thursday you did 53, and we'll see what shakes out today. And that's when, uh, again, you, you're getting up there, you're losing traction as you get up there. There's less buyers when you get up there. Uh, you, what you want to do, folks, though, no doubt, let this play out tomorrow because the bottom line is that you want to see how the price holds. And then you're going to have the dailies and the weeklies. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. You might as well have a blast with it. Please tell your friends to go to YouTube, search TFNN, subscribe. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks.